Hi Ari, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, with the help of Burn a Cannon, we defeated Negatron and completed our journey in Netherstorm. We also were rewarded with this helmet by the name of X-52 Rocket Helmet. So let's check this out. Again, like this helmet. It's cool how it shoots you up like that. I'd love to use it in Raid one day. I think it'd be kind of funny. But yeah, let's, uh... Let's put it... To, where's our other helmet here? I'm looking for it. Today we are going to Shadow Moon Valley, guys. That is the plan. But first I need to find... The helmet that we took off. I hope we didn't get rid of it. I think this is probably it. It's my guess. Yeah, that's probably it. Alright, so we're ready to go. And we are going to be heading to Shadow Moon Valley. And to get there, we will have to go through Terracar Forest. Alright, so we're going to take a flight down to Terracar Forest. Let's go to the flight trainer in Shadrath. And we are two and a half bars away from 70, guys. Pretty damn crazy how we're here. Um, I, I don't know how much longer we'll be in Shadow Moon Valley. Maybe we will hit level 70 today. I'll be shocked if that's the case. But hopefully we can get to at least experience Shadow Moon Valley a little bit. And then we can say, we went to every zone, but really, we're not really going to, we're not going to really get to experience Shadow Moon Valley that, that much. It is actually considered more of a, a level 70 zone than, than a, like a leveling zone for like high levels, but. But we'll get a little bit, get a little taste of it. I didn't think we would level this fast, but we did. And I think if I didn't have so much blue bar, like rested XP, then we probably would have got a little bit more time in Shadow Moon Valley. Alright, so let's buff up here. And then we'll hop on our mount. We'll make our way to over to Shadow Moon Valley, which is we have to go to a road over here. Maybe it's better if I just fly. Probably is. Let me just cut cut through all the stuff. It's a great thing about being a druid. If I was any other class, I'd probably be on my mount running over right now. Yeah, I'm interested to see what Shadow Moon Valley is like. I haven't really leveled there much on my rogue. I went there recently to get uh, the attune ready. Oh, we've got to watch out here. We will get shot down if we get close to that Alliance settlement. But yeah, I went to Shadow Moon Valley to help get it attuned for Black Temple on my rogue. We did a couple of quests there where we... Fought the lost ones. I think some of the Illidari too. I, I didn't really follow the story. We were just doing it with a friend and we were just speeding through it. I was actually doing it with uh, Burn a Cannon, but on Assault. And now I have to complete a dungeon by the name of Architraz, which is a level 70 dungeon. That is a part of the Tempest Keep chain. And then I should be able to get my attunement for Black Temple after that. But I think there's one more quest after that dungeon, probably. Right, so here we go. We should be riding into Shadow Moon Valley pretty soon. Should should be interesting. 
I also want to figure out how to get the Illidari Tabard. I really like that Tabard. I used to have it back in the day on oh, my Rogue. In retail, back in Wrath. But I never remembered how I got it. I did it with a group of people. They just told me to come tag along and I, I got that Tabard and I never forgot about it. What who the heck are these guys? Oh. Come on. Go. That is the power. I didn't know those were, those were fell orcs. But that is the power of War Stomp, guys. And that just proves. Yet again. Torn druids always get away. That was crazy. I didn't know you could stun that many people. I was like eight orcs. They're all beating the crap out of me. <laughs> Surprised we didn't die there. I thought we were dead. All right, so we're here. This is uh, the horde camp, in Shadow Moon Valley, called Shadow Moon Village. So we're looking for somebody here. A lot of quests we can do. It has the same music. At least we'll pick up the flight path. It actually has uh, pretty much the same music as uh, the music in Hellfire Peninsula. I'm noticing that. All right, so here he is. Earthminder Splinthoof. This guy looks pretty cool. Overlord O. O Bash. Why is that you want? Speak, friend. What is it that you want from me, shaman? Do you have not eyes? Did you not see demons on our very doorstep? I do not have the soldiers what to spare. Demon? Pray to your gods, shaman. Perhaps they will come to your aid. The horde, however, cannot. <laughs> Looks like he's fed up with that torrent. Let me get a little picture here of these two. It's better if I get a picture from this ray, this way. I'll wait for him to come back. There we go. All right, so let's have a chat what with uh, Earth Mender Splinthoof, the Hand of Gul'dan. The elementals need your help, Torn. Shadow Moon Valley has been subject to unspeakable evils. These spirits remain tortured to this day. Many are enraged and unwilling to commune with the Earthen Ring. Help this world heal, friend. Southeast of Shadow Moon Village, in the heart of Shadow Moon Valley, you will find the area known as the Altar of Damnation. Make your way there and speak with Earthmender Torlock. May the eternal sun shine. All right, so I think that's a that'll be a cool quest chain to do. The hand of Gul'dan. I also wonder what's going on with Gul'dan. You don't really get to see him at all in, uh, in TPC, even though he was like a he's the one who got the orcs to drink the the fell blood. I wonder if you get to see him. I I don't really know TPC that well. He was uh, the main, one of the main villains in Warlords, in Legion, and in, and in Warlords Draenor as well. He was his build up. He had a big build up in Warlords. And Shadow Moon Valley was a beautiful zone in Warlords of Draenor crazy what happened to it after all of the the Legion game and all the fell corrupted it. Alright, so we have to find out where this is. You hear like the voice of like a, a lost one drain eye. Like talking. <laughs> Look at that. So where we gotta be? Yeah. Earthmender Tor. Look at this. This is crazy. The Altar of Damnation. Is this where like Gul'dan did all his all his dirty work? 
Is that Gul'dan there? Oh my gosh, dude. So he is in the game. That is wild. Well, that'll be our, uh... We'll take from the land if it refuses to give. Oh, would you look at that? Do not do this, Gul'dan. The elements will never forgive us. Maybe this is better. Kim likes kneeling towards the portal. Doing all of this evil. Sacrificing his people to the Legion. Yeah, that's epic. I didn't know about this. I just thought it was a cool quest name. Out of all the ones I like, was looking at to do. What do you need? All right, it is here that Gul'dan severed the ties between orcs and the element spirits. His unquenchable thirst for power could not be satiated with the complete annihilation of the Draenei. He had to also destroy Draenor, raising the land and siphoning all of his energies for use in his war. Now all that is left are remnants of his madness. Look at the altar, Torrin. The land is forever haunted. The hand of Gul'dan. It's good that you came, Doran. We have much work to do. We must try and make amends. We must commune with the elements of this region and to see if anything can be done. I grant you the totem of spirits, Doran. If you slay an enraged elemental spirit in close proximity of the totem, it will consume the elemental soul. You must use the totem to consume many souls before you may return to me. Do this for the spirits of fire and earth first. Return to me when the totem is full. Be safe. Alright, we will be safe. And it looks like we are going to have to deal with uh, these uh, spirits here. So let's uh, do this. Alright, so we will um, throw down the totem, I guess. Totem of spirits. Okay. Hopefully that does something. These guys are level 69. That's that's another thing about uh, Shadowy Valley. And Nether Storm too. The mobs are all pretty high level. I think there's a lot of level 70s as well in uh, in Nether Storm. And there we go. Got the Earth Spirit. Heal up, and then we'll we'll drag these spirit these elements one by one over to the totem. Does the totem disappear? No, it's still there. Drag this guy over. Make sure we get a ravage on him though. Nope, might be able to see us. There we go. We'll drag him over here to the totem. But the totem, yeah, it's still there. Come here. I wonder what the range is on that totem. Usually totems don't have the, the biggest range radius. What's that? Timer. Here we go, we got another spirit. And these little ones spawn afterwards. That's a really creepy zone. For some reason I can't get fairy fire on these guys. I keep trying to uh, use it, but I can't use it. It's like they're immune to it. That didn't. Oh man, we just lost the totem when that happened. Well, that's unfortunate. Look at that, they got some fell hounds down there. And there's the other spirits we gotta fight, I think. The fi Those are the fire spirits. 
interested to see what happens after that. This maybe we'll get to see the ceremony that he did. I don't blurely blame the orcs for like for what happened to them and why they s sacrificed themselves to the legion. Oh, this could be bad. And it was in return for power. They were pretty much getting you know, demolished by the ogres quite some time. And they were actually slaves to the ogres. You actually see that in uh, Warlords of Draenor. They were able to break free. And they didn't need uh, the fell blood, but the fell blood just turned them into like pretty much conquerors of of Draenor. I think that's what uh, Garrosh went back to change. He didn't want them to take the blood. Pretty sure. Could be mistaken by that, but I just remember the part where he's like, we will never be slaves. And I think that's what he's referring to is uh, is drinking the blood. The blood of Sargeras. It's the blood of Sargeras, right? It's, it's not the blood of it's not the blood of Manoroth. I remember Manoroth was a big, big part of it as well. It'd be cool to watch all the cinematics again from uh, Warcraft Three, the RTS. That RTS really does explain a decent amount of the story. Maybe we'll play that again. I don't know. I have to think about it. I don't know if I would play it on the hardest difficulty. Because I'm just not as good at RTS than when I uh, used to play it a lot as a kid. I'm really rusty. I haven't really played RTS in a long time. But it would be cool just to check out the story in that game. Oops, we forgot to put the totem down. I guess we're remembering to do that. But yeah, I think the RTS explains the story pretty damn well. Story of the Lich King and what happened with Illidan and all that stuff. Watch out for these pigs here. I wonder why I can't put fairy fire on these guys. They're like immune to. They're just immune to it, I guess. Or my hit might be too low. Who knows? But the thing is, I'm a higher level than this guy. So I should be able to get it off. I guess we got a mode of earth there. So we'll go in again, we'll drop a moon fire. Run up, drop a totem. Looks like we may be running out of earth spirits, so there's one back there. We only need a couple more to finish this quest. Yeah, I don't think we'll get 70 today. The bar isn't moving as, as fast as I thought it would, and that's fine. And I think it will be uh, pretty soon. Potentially next episode. Never, I haven't really thought about like how I want to end it, but... Usually I just end it when it's, when it's done. <laughs> that's how I did Flight Carrier last time. When we hit 60, it was pretty epic, though. I, uh, we were in the Eastern Plague Lands when I hit 60. And, uh, there was a Black Lotus that we found. We got our herbalism up, and we found a, actually found our first Black Lotus. And we got into a PvP fight for it. We actually had to fight a priest. 
to get it. And we won the PvP fight and we got our first Black Lotus. I have it in my, uh, in my bank, actually. I haven't used it or sold it or did anything. I just saved it as a memory. And we didn't do anything special. That just kind of randomly happened. That's why I really liked it. <laughs> Finding a Black Lotus is pretty rare, especially one that hasn't been picked. And this was during like a time when uh, people were, a lot of people were farming gold to uh, get their their Nax Ramus uh, consumables. These consumables were pretty expensive back then because uh, there's a lot of wiping going on in Nax. Yeah, I hope something special happens. I don't know. <laughs> I, I will admit the server is is not the same. Like there's there isn't really many alliance anymore. It's a TBC is a much different game than classic. That's for sure. But I think this hand of Goldan quest chain will be cool to check out. Wow, Hell's doing some serious damage. If I can get him to come out of it. There we go. Okay, so we can get Fairy Fire on these elementals, but on the Earth elementals, it doesn't work. Our mode of fire, nice. So we're collecting modes of fire and modes of uh, earth, which is good. So we will need to use those eventually. Should probably get rid of some junk here. I don't know, we'll probably get rid of that. There we go. This will pull this guy over to us. Try to run away from that fire, but it looks like he's going to hit us with that. I didn't think he would hit us with that. I thought we were pretty far away. Yeah, Fairy Fire just seems to work against these guys. Okay, so let's heal up and we'll get Thorns back up here. I think we have a little bit left to drink. Yeah, we got around 10 manas. I like these Fellfire Elementals, they look pretty cool. I'm surprised uh, TBC doesn't have a boss that looks like that. Or I wonder if they do. I, I really wouldn't know. I've never done the TBC raids, so I'm looking forward to doing uh, the Black Te doing Black Temple. It was fun checking out uh, checking out Manoroth Slayer, or Rules Slayer, I mean, not Manoroth Slayer. And been fighting Manoroth as well. And also checking out Karazhan, Tempest Keep, and Serpent Shrine Cavern. Even though they're all nerfed, they are all nerfed, and uh, we were, the people that were doing, I was doing it with, just demolished it. But it will be cool to check out the, the progression, and I'll try to get. Uh, Try to get some videos of the raids. Going eventually. A little fairy fire up there. Yeah, I think we'll probably get a, a close to one bar today. Potentially.
of these fragments. Must be another BOE though. It's male. It's too bad. It could have been better than the shoulders that we were wearing. Probably is better. The stats look pretty good. to the totem here before we finish him off. Nice. We're getting a lot of POEs here. We have to, uh... Fell Armament? I think that's something we want to keep. Don't really know what else to get rid of. Halal Research Token? I think we can get rid of that. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Ironwood Seed? That, that's a uh, material for us. Maybe the Sun Fury Signets? The Light Feathers? I'm not too sure. Get rid of the bandages, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, get rid of these Runecloth bandages, maybe? I think that would be the best thing. Crimson Energy. Got an energy drink. We'll get rid of the bandages. I don't think we'll need them. Because we have, uh... Sorry, we're still holding on to them. Should have entered those a long time ago. Okay, so there's like a bunch of earth elementals here. We're gonna try to avoid them as best we can. Now we need three more of these fire elements. Drop the totem here. I wonder if I should use this, uh... Can't use it, though. It's probably much better for a rogue. Because you can't drink it in, uh... Cat form. Did we drop it? No, we didn't. more to go and then we'll get to see what happens next sounds like we're gonna have to slay some more elementals as long as we don't pull anything else. All right, let's heal up. Looks like we have captured the souls that we want to capture. I guess we'll fly on over back to uh, Gul'dan Sacrifice. It's like the sacrificial pit over here. I wonder whose axe that is. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Oh my gosh, look at all these elements, dude. What the heck is going on here? Oh. Well, I guess this is what happens. <laughs> now to recover the lost words. Right, so I guess we'll turn this quest in Rage Spirits of Fire and Earth. I fear that this land may be without hope. When all the elemental souls of this region have been placed inside the totem, we will commune with them and find out if anything can be done for Shadow Moon Valley. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to get some more for the whole. Uh, souls before we get to see what happens there. I guess he's going to continue this quest chain, Kazuramon. 
But I'm going to be calling the episode here. Next episode, we have a, a bar and a half left, and then we're 70. Good chance that we will hit 70 next episode. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.